Hello everyone. In today's video, I show you how you can log in to the SAP system with the program KeyPass. The whole thing happens with one click without the SAP GUI and without entering a password. The program is super handy, especially if you are a consultant with several cost customers and therefore many SAP systems and VPN accesses to manage. The password protected Excel should be history. One of my viewers made me aware of this program. Many thanks for the tip. So how this works, I show you now. First, we open a browser. Then we type in keypass download. And I link you the link in the video description. And we click on the first link, download keypass. And then we have different versions, uh, installer and a portable version. I'm opting for the portable version today. This does not need to be installed and can also be run on a USB stick. So let's download the zip file. Let's save the zip file. Then we open the folder and we extract the zip to a folder. After that, we open the folder and here we have an exe file keypass.exe. Double click on this file. Then we get the message about the automatic update check. Yes, we enable this. And now the program is open. And the next step we have to do is we create a new database. The database is a normal file and we name it, I name it database and we can uh, pick the path where the file is, where the database is stored. Then we have to pick a master password. This password is requested every time KeyPass is started. So I type in a password and the quality it's not so good because okay here I have a message I got the message that the password is too weak but to test this it's okay. So here we can type in a database name. I type here SAP and click on OK. Then we have the option to print out an emergency sheet with uh, important information. But I skip this for this example. And now we have two sample entries. And what we do now is we create a new group. And I name this group SAP. And I pick a, a, another icon. I pick the key. Press on OK. And in this group, I create a new entry. And the title of this entry is the SAD of my SAP system. So I open the SAP logon and we see here the SID. It's NPL. It's my test system. The username of my test system is developer. And the password is download. So we can show the password, so we don't have to repeat it. And next we have to 
type in a URL with parameters. So we write cmd colon slash slash then sapsh cut. This is the program which is called. This program is installed in the same folder as the SAP logon, the SAP GUI. Then I type here the name of the, the parameter system and the name of my SAP system. It's NPL. Next, the parameter client. The client is one in my test system. So let's double click and we see this is the client. Next, the parameter language. It's EN for English. And next, the user. And here I type a variable for the username. And the variable name is username. And next, the parameter for the password, PW. And here I pass the password as a parameter and not as plain text as in one of my earlier videos. Yes. Then we click on OK. And then we see our entry and with a single click on the URL or double click on the column URL, we can log into the SAP system. First, there's a security question because we are connecting to the SAP GUI. I allow this. And we see the SAP test system is opened. And here we can also create multiple entries or pass additional parameters to the URL for example, to call a special transaction or to execute the program. And this is all encrypted and secured in this program. The next step is to subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments. I would be very happy about it. Thank you and see you next video.